Hello guys, welcome back to my channel DP Design and I am welcoming again to the FSA series where I am explaining the how to perform a simulation of a formula student chases. So in this episode, we are going to talk about the side impact analysis and the rear impact analysis combined. Because as we discussed in the previous video, we have done the frontal impact analysis which you have already seen. If you haven't seen, you can uh, go to our channel and find that video and check it out. Uh, like, share and subscribe. So let's get started with this one. So as you can see, we have built this model using the bail mats and we have given many different profiles over here. So what we have done in the last video that uh, we have the given boundary condition in the frontal uh, bulkhead by the forces and rear one as a, our fixed location. Now for the rear impact analysis to check the strength from the rear if uh, someone hits you from the rear you are safe or not what the stress level are coming if there any if there is any failure or not so that uh, stuff you have to check the parameter you have to check just to make sure that you are safe right so we will start with the basic static simulation we are not performing any dynamic simulation over here so we start with the new study which is a static study i will name it as a rear impact analysis i am not performing any type of uh, 2d simplification so i will uncheck it and i will go to okay okay it calculated my joints this is the benefit of uh, building the model embedments. It will automatically calculate the joint and beams which you have created, right? So, yes, you can see my cut list has been already displayed over here. Now, I will select the joint group. Joint group has been created already. If you want to create any other type of uh, joints, you can create your custom, right? So, that's how you're going to build your model with the elements, right? So I'm not adding any kind of additional joints over here. So in the connection, we don't have to modify anything because there is no assembly level simulation over here. So you keep it as it is. I will apply this material, which is a 4130 normalized. Okay, and I will apply. Which is having a 205 GPA of uh, Young Modulus and 0.285 of Poison Ratio. Yeah, correct. I will apply that and apply it already. Okay, great. So, as you can see, my color has been changed. Now, I can see my material has been applied to the chassis. And yeah, I am ready to go with my another boundary condition. So, what I will do? I will just go to fixture and go to fixture geometry. Now I will fix my frontal part, which is which is can be called as a front bulkhead in the formula student. So what I will do now, I will do a joint. I will select the joints over here and yeah, this joints I will give the fixed values and this joints will have the force as you can see. This is the side. Ah, this is the rear impact analysis. My force location is this one, and my fixed nodes are here in the front bulkhead, right? So yeah, these are fixed. Okay. Now I will apply the external force on this one. So I will select the joints over here, and yeah, I will get it fixed. So how you can see if your uh, joints are fixed or not? So you can just go to symbol setting and you have your to edit your color. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to fix. I'm, up, I'm going to apply the forces. So yeah, you can uh, make your symbol bigger to visualize that. But for now, I will select the direction of the forces. So as you can see, I have a horizontal member over here. So I don't have to select the plane. Yeah, I've selected the direction and I have to give the force value which is 
as you can see yesterday we have discussed how to apply the amount of forces how to calculate the forces if you are apply 4g or 3g so you can just go to the previous video and see how it is uh, calculated right so you can take the value from uh, that video and then come back over here and perform the rest of the simulation so rest of the boundary condition we will give around uh, we are assuming the value of a 5000 newton for now a very lower for now yeah so we have applied the forces and apply the fixture over here so i will get it masked need mass or some fine a mass parameter around 14 mm which is very coarse mass actually it is showing the fine but it is very coarse 10 mm is huge and my growth rate i will select about 1.1 and click it okay So as you can see, my mass has been created over here. So anywhere you want to refine mass, so you can give the custom mass size over there. So you will have the fine results and yeah. And you will have a more competitive time, right? So get ready to burn your processor. I will run the study now. I am done with my matching right now. So I will run the study. So as you can see my result has been displayed so what you can do you can just go to chart you can go to definition and select the beams because you want to see your results at the beam only in the axial direction uh, you can select your result in, in bending in a torsional or a shear okay so you can click and see where the stress levels are coming higher right so you have to check your uh, yield strength is as well if your uh, stress is going beyond that level so you have to check that also uh, the in in the future video we will explain uh, how to reduce the stress levels how to make a proper trusses right so that uh, that things we cannot cover in a one video that's why we are making just a basic uh, fundamentally how the simulation is going to be performed and in the future video we will add that right the more technical things and calculation we will add so that's how the rear impact analysis has been done and now we are going to perform the side impact simulation the same side impact simulation make it okay this is the static analysis only yeah it has calculated apply to bodies then i will apply the 4130 normalized which is uh, okay great my material has been applied i will go to join group okay so and edit okay this all are correct if you want to wear somewhere external join so you can add by yourself right so i will fix now as you can see we will go to our ppt and uh, yeah that's a side impact test which is a uh, uh, directing the force in this side if you are viewing your chassis from the front so this forces will come down to this and your uh, fixed nodes will be your sim numbers which is a uh, side impact numbers right so what you can do you can just go to fix geometry and select the joints and as you can see you can select the four major joints over here where your nodes are connecting one two or you can select this one c4 okay and yeah you can select this as well okay you don't need to be fixed okay we will select this only this two okay. this will be an if we are viewing it in a uh, we see a logical perspective so this nodes will come into the picture so yeah these three nodes are enough for now so i will apply the forces and nodes yeah this will have the forces also this one 
I will select the direction and direction will be this one. The state I am selecting as a reference. And now I will select the value of it, which is in a reverse direction, 5000 Newton. Okay. I am done with my boundary condition part. Now I will go to the mesh, create mesh. And I will go to the fine. The fine is very coarse for a FE engineer, right? In this one. Yeah, so my basic matching has been done already. And you can end the study. Okay. My results has been displayed on my surfaces of beam and axial. Okay. As you can see how my frame is bending and where it is bending, is there any harm to the drivers or not? Driver is safe or not? What is the FOS? What is the value of a stress? This you have to interpret by this FEA result so that uh, you make sure your frame is filled safe and tough right so this is how you can uh, do a simulation of a rear impact rear impact and uh, side impact uh, simulation so yeah that was all for the video as a basic understanding of how the simulation are going to perform in the future videos we will add a dynamic simulation where your chassis is going to crash into rigid part and see what are the stress level and is it matching with the static one or not what are the difference how the convergence is happening so that we will see in the future video and till then see you and keep sharing keep learning thank you so much for your support i am hoping that you are sharing my videos to all your colleagues all your formula students and baha'i say students as well so yeah, looking for your uh, great support. Yeah, thank you.